Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. <clears throat> May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Caluso. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the dedication of the Basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul, let us pray in this Mass that like them, we too may also give witness to our faith in Jesus. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive, even to the end of the world, an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. 
The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them, but Matathias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Matathias, You are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and kin. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Matathias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers and consents to the king's orders, yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king, nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar in Modin according to the king's order. When Matathias saw him, he was filled with zeal, his heart was moved, and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus, he showed his zeal for the law, just as Pineas did with Simri, son of Salu. Then Matathias went through the city shouting, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereafter, he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious custom went out into the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, 
If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for the past days, we have been reading from the book of Maccabees about stories of people who during the occupation of the pagan Greeks were asked to renounce their faith, but remained faithful to their faith in God. On Tuesday, if you still remember, we heard the story of the 90-year-old man, Eleazar, who was asked to eat pork, something against their Jewish laws. They even asked, that, even asked him to just pretend eating pork so as to save his life. But Eleazar was more concerned about the example that he would give to the younger generations than in saving his own life. Yesterday, we heard the moving story of a mother and his seven sons who were all executed. The sons were killed before their mother and the mother were encouraging their, her sons to be courageous because it is more inspiring, it is more noble to die for our faith than to give in to worldly powers. They were all executed because they stood firm for their faith in God. And today, in our first reading, we heard the story of Matathias, the leader of the community in the city of Modain. And Mathathias also showed us how zealous he was in defending his faith, the Jewish faith in God. My dear brothers and sisters, these stories are stories of people who were placed in difficult situations but they never missed the opportunity to prove their faith in God. Their faith was tested, and they passed the test. They never compromised their faith in God. Sa sandali na sinubok ang kanilang pananampalataya, hindi nila hinayaang masayang ang pagkakataong yun. Bagos pinatunayan nila ang matatag na pananampalataya nila sa Panginoon. In our gospel today, Jesus wept. Tumangis si Jesus. When Jesus saw the city of Jerusalem, He wept because he foresaw the coming destruction 
the holy city will soon be destroyed. And what was the reason why it would be destroyed? Jesus said, because you failed to recognize the time of your visitation. The people of Jerusalem did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah they were waiting for. And because of that, because they missed the opportunity of acknowledging, of recognizing, and believing in Jesus, the city was destroyed. Sayang ang pagkakataon. Dumating na si Jesus na kanilang hinihintay na Mesiyas, pero pinalampas nila ang pagkakataong iyon. My dear brothers and sisters, we are also in a very similar situation. Our situation now as a people, as a society, is no different from the times of the people we heard from the book of Maccabees. We are also in a situation where our faith is tested. We are given now the golden opportunity to show and prove our Catholic faith. We are given that rare chance to correct the wrong, to put a stop to lies, to indecency, to immorality, and to evil. We are given this precious moment to allow goodness to prevail and to make things better for us, for our families, for our country, and for our future. Ito yung pagkakataon na ibinibigay sa atin na patunayan ng ating pananampalataya sa Diyos, na baguhin at gawing mabuti ang ating paligid at ang ating lipunan. Ito yung pagkakataon na ibinibigay sa atin para gawing mas mabuti ang lahat, na gawing mas banal at babait ang lahat. Nasa atin ngayon ang pagkakataon na huwag din nating sayangin katulad ng pagsasayang na ginawa ng mga taga-Herusalem. Let us not waste this chance. Let us not miss this opportunity because this moment may never come again. Please stand. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a living sign and instrument of unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that the th truth handed down to us by the mystery of the Apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul. For it is through your gift that we are governed under the under their patronage, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh. 